right, so today we're going to be doing the service on the X-Fusion Manic Seat Post. This video is going to cover generations 2, 3, and 4. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is verify if you have a generation 1 post or a later post. The easiest way to identify is on the top of the post, there will be a 10 millimeter nut or no nut. If you have no nut, that's a Gen 1 post. Contact your local distributor to get that upgraded to the Gen 2, 3, or 4. If you do have the nut on top of the post like you're going to see shortly, we can continue with the service. So to do this service, we're going to need our seat post, our replacement cartridge. In some applications, you're going to get a cartridge extension piece, our new seal kit, a uh, Park SPA-2 pin spanner, or the green SPA-1, 4 millimeter Allen key, 10 millimeter socket with ratchet, torque wrench, heat gun, an alternate is a 10 millimeter socket on an impact driver, your strap wrench, some slick honey, some lint-free towels, and some alcohol. From there, you're ready to get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our saddle clamps off the top. Make sure to set your front bolt aside. It is shorter than the rear bolt. So you have your rear bolt and your front bolt. So front, rear. Leave that in orientation. So this is your nut for generations two, three, four uh, through current production stuff. Again, generation one is just a hollow head. If you're going to use a normal ratchet to remove the nut, you're going to want to put vertical pressure down on the head. In order to unthread that. From there, we will go to the vise to finish the, the teardown. So once you got it in the vise, grab your pin wrench and your heat gun. You can also do this with a torch. You just have to be very careful to only warm it up a little bit. These have nylock on the bottom of them. You just want to soften it to release it. Go ahead and unthread it. Once it's unthreaded, you can lift your activator assembly with the cartridge right out. From there, we're gonna grab our strap wrench. We're gonna make sure the post is nice and clean. If your strap wrench is having trouble, you can use an old piece of inner tube to give it something to bite with. Unthread your seal head. Once your seal head is unthreaded, you can move back to the bench and separate. Once you separate it, be careful not to lose the three pins. Go ahead and take your rag, wipe all the old grease and debris off. You have several pieces here. You have your lower bushing that just pulls right off. You have your pin plate, your upper bushing, a ceiling O-ring, and your seal head. From there, your upper post is stripped and ready for cleaning. We're gonna go ahead and grab the wiper seal and just pinch the lip of it and pull out of its gland. Go ahead and spray that out with alcohol. Finish cleaning your seal head out. 
and set it aside. You can then take your rag, pop it into the end, spray some alcohol in the tube, and then you can use either your old or your new cartridge to press the rag through the tube to clean the debris and old grease out of the tube. Once that's clean, set that aside and you're ready for reassembly. If you're going to replace your cartridge, you would make sure it's fully extended, mount it into your soft jaw vise. It is preferable if you have a six millimeter shaft clamp to clamp it here. You would then use your pin wrench to unthread the activator from the bottom of the cartridge. Pull the bottom out bumper and you can go ahead and install on your fresh cartridge. To install your fresh cartridge, you're going to put some slick honey on this activator pin and a little bit on the threads, bottom out bumper. You're going to thread your activator assembly on. This torques to 30 inch pounds, so just slightly past snug. It will self tighten as the post extends itself. Pull that from the vise. In certain circumstances, you're going to get one of these little adapters to go on the end of your cartridge. This is to fit the current generation four cartridge into the generation two and three posts. So if your cartridge came with this adapter, make sure it stays with it. You can check it against your old cartridge because they should be within a millimeter of the same length. First thing you're going to do is a little bit of slick honey back into the seal head. Install your new wiper seal. Some slick honey inside of it. Slide onto your post head. Install your new O-ring. Your new upper bushing. Your new pin plate. And your lower bushing. When you install your lower bushing, make sure that the split is on one side of the post not front to back. Do not install it like this. Make sure it is installed left to right. That'll make sure your post doesn't have any excess wobble. From there, we're going to put some slick honey on the end of the tube. Go ahead and place your three pins. Now, when installing the outer tube, you want to make sure that all of your riding is facing backwards in line with the riding on the back of the seat post head. You're going to want to support your three pins, and that should just slip right in, and then you can hand tighten this down for now. From there, Go ahead and install your new cartridge. Tighten the activator into the bottom of the post. And then we'll go back to the vise to torque everything in place. You can physically activate the post to compress it slightly. We'll make it easier to work on. Go ahead and grab your pin spanner and your activator assembly is going to torque in to 60 inch pounds. It doesn't need to be that tight because the nylock will hold it in place. Using your strap wrench, tighten your seal head back down, ideally to 100 inch pounds, but you just want to make sure it's going to come loose. Go ahead and remove the post from the vise, and we'll install the top nut. Go 
and this will torque to 60 inch pounds as well. to 60. Verify function of your post. Use your four millimeter Allen key. You can activate it and make sure it is working. From there, you go ahead and reinstall in the bike, remount your saddle clamps, and that's how you service a manic post.